Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Um, today I'm just going to go ahead and say this right up front. There's a bit of echo on the audio. I know that, but we just moved and I've got to get this video recorded for you guys. And yeah, the foam is going to get here in like two days, but i got to get this video done and out to you. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install the Simple Harvest mod in Minecraft 1.13.2. This mod here. This is a really, really cool mod that, well, as you can imagine, allows you to harvest things simpler and easier and allows to auto replanting and things like that so as we can see here this is what it does by default and you can add, edit this config and make it even better and easier to use but nonetheless before we get into this we do have a message from our sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an awesome 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for just a few bucks a month we love Apex so much, we actually host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So again, you can check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome DDoS protected server for you and your friends. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Simply Harvest installed, or Simple Harvest installed, excuse me. What we want to do is go to the second link down below. The first one's Apex, second one is Simple Harvest. Once you click on that, it will take you here, where you want to click on Earlier Versions. See where it says Earlier Versions right there? Click on that, and it will take us over to this page, where we then want to come over to where we see 1.13.2. You see that? 1.13.2 is the game version. Go ahead and click the orange download button next to the 1.13.2 version of Simple Harvest. And we then go ahead and say your download will begin in five seconds. It'll count down and then on Mozilla Firefox it'll open up this in the center of the screen. This is Simply Harvest for or Simple Harvest for 1.13.2. So we can see Harvest 1.13.2 and it does end in .jar. If that's the case you can go ahead and click save file. However if you're on Google Chrome it didn't pop up in the center of the screen. It popped up in the bottom left of your screen. And again as long as it ends in .jar we can go ahead and keep the file on Google Chrome and on Mozilla Firefox we're going to to save the file. Once we've done that, we're not done downloading yet. We need to go to the third link down below, and that will take us here. This is to Forge for Minecraft. This is actually our entire tutorial on installing Forge, but all you need to do for this tutorial is click on this green Download Forge button here. When you click on that, it will take us over to Forge's official website, where it'll say I have an ad blocker, and then it'll load ads, because I don't use ad blockers. Very, very weird. But nonetheless, once we're here, we want to make sure that MC 1.13.2 is selected. It is. If it's not, and it doesn't say MC 1.13.2, here all you want to do is come over here to the left hand side click on 1.13 and then click on 1.13.2 Nevertheless, once you're here, we want to go ahead and click on this installer button. You see that installer thing? Click on that and it will take us off to add focus where well, you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever at all. Stop it. It's lying to you. Stop it. All you want to do is after five seconds in the top right, you'll see this red skip button. You see that? Click on that red skip button and then it will open up this. You want to make sure that this file begins in forge and ends in .jar. If you click the red skip button, it will. If you click something else on this page, it probably won't. So you want to make sure you've clicked that red skip button and then it does start with forge and ends with .jar. If it does, we can save the file on Mozilla Firefox. On Google Chrome, we can do the same thing. Make sure it begins with forge, ends in .jar, and we can keep the file. I'm going to go ahead and save the file. You can keep the file on Mozilla or on Google Chrome, and now we can minimize our browser. Where on our desktop here we do have Harvest 1.13.2 and Forge 1.13.2. We want to start off with actually Forge here. So go ahead and right click on that, click on Open With, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't or if you do and click OK and this Forge installer right here doesn't open up, then no worries, we have a solution for you. Just go to the description down below and go here. You need to download the Java Development Kit or the Java Java JDK or Java SDK. It's all the same thing and it all stands for Java SE Development Kit. And this is something you need to not only run Forge but any other Minecraft mods out there from Optifine to Forge itself to even things like Light Loader. They all need Java Development Kit. So you can come here, download that, and this tutorial actually walks you through how to get that. If you download that and you still can't open Forge, you're still having issues, no worries. We've got a fix for you. It's called the Jar Fix. You can check it out in the description down below. It has helped almost 30,000 people fix any jar issues they have. It's a very, very simple thing. Download it and run it basically, but this does walk you through how to do all of that. Once you've done that, we can again come back to our desktop. And if these aren't in your desktop, they're in your downloads folder. So just go ahead and click on the Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon there 
Type in downloads, right like so, and you will see this downloads folder here. You see that? Click on that downloads folder, and then in this downloads folder here, you will have Forge and Harvest. You can drag those to your desktop for ease of use. Finally, though, we can right click on Forge, click on open with Java TM platform SC binary, and click OK. It'll then go ahead and open up our Forge installer here. We want to click on Install Client and click OK. Now Forge will go ahead and install, and the only reason it should fail at this point is if you, one, haven't ran the jar fix yet, or two, haven't ran Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods installed. That means no Optifine, no anything. You need to go run vanilla Minecraft 1.13.2 if you don't get the successfully installed message, which we're about to get right uh, here in a second. There it is. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Awesome. So we can go ahead and click OK. Now we need to get Harvest installed in 1.13.2. To do this, go ahead and again click that Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon there. Click on that and then type in Run, R-U-N. Then you should have this Run Desktop app there. You see that? Click on that. And then in this Run Desktop app, we want to type percent app data percent percent sign app data percent sign and then hit enter it'll then open up our roaming folder here we want to go into the dot minecraft folder and in here you should have a mods folder but nick what if i don't have a mods folder what do i do well don't freak out it's okay just create one right click create a new folder title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open up your newly created mods folder now we need to take the harvest mod we downloaded here, drag it into our mods folder, and then we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now once you get into the Minecraft launcher, don't be smacking the play button immediately. You need to change some stuff in here as well. So there we go, the Minecraft launcher is open in the background here. Let's go ahead and get it good and into frame. And now we can go ahead and click on the three lines in the top right here, and then we should have the launch options. See that? Click on launch options here, and then in launch options we can go ahead and add a new profile we're going to name this new profile play.breakdowncraft.com why am i naming it that oh that's because that is our minecraft server the best minecraft 1.13.2 grief protected survival server in the multiverse we've also got incredible skyblock over there custom skyblock come play with this play.breakdowncraft.com we are an incredible community all the information is in the description down below now for version here we want to click on that and find release 1.13.2 dash 4 if you have multiple versions as we do here click on the one with the highest number at the end in our case that is 0.79 is much much higher than 0.44 so we're going to go with forge 0.79 at the end there then i'm going to change my resolution you don't need to do this I'm just doing it so, well, how do I put this? You guys will be able to see once we get in game. Now we can go ahead and click save, come back over to the news tab, click on the little green arrow next to the play button, click on the play.breakdowncraft.com profile here, and then just click play. And now it'll download some things, and then open up 1.13.2, with Forge installed, but most importantly, Simple Harvest installed. So you'll be able to easily get crops, harvest them, do all of that stuff, and uh, yeah, it'll just be a grand, fun, old time. At this point, I would like to apologize yet again for any audio issues. We do have foam on the way to put all over these concrete walls here, but nevertheless, we just moved into this house, so we're still getting set up, and we didn't have any foam before. So that is on the way, and uh, whenever we've got it, it will be on the walls, and not only will uh, it make the sound quality here better, it'll make uh, other people living in the house more happy because they won't be able to hear me recording um, all the time. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and see if this mod's installed here. As you can see, we have this mods tab. If we click on that, there is harvest, right-click crop harvesting, pretty simple stuff. However, we can go ahead and, I don't think I have any single player. This actually might be it. So let me back up and load this real quick. And I'm really curious, if there's crops in this. I don't know if there is. Let me get into this game and then we'll be good to go. All right, we are in game and I just tested this. Now, the only thing I know to do is show you my mouse. And obviously this is the right click here. So I'm just gonna show you that I'm gonna be right clicking on this. And this is gonna be auto re-harvesting or harvesting and then replanting all of these crops. I don't think there is any denying that simple harvest is in fact installed. This is a very, very easy mod that I would add into just the convenience tab of Minecraft 1.13.2 mods. 
But yeah, there we go. And as you can see, it works on beets, it works on wheat, it works on everything, even potatoes. So uh, yeah, there you have it. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. One more time, sorry for the audio. It'll be fixed very soon. But anyway, enjoy Simple Harvest in 1.13.2. And I am out. Peace.